Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today, I have some spring DIYs for you using supplies from the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Spot at Target. I redid my entryway for spring, and here's a quick preview of how it's going to turn out. I had so much fun putting these together, and I can't wait to show you how. Okay, the first DIY is going to be a little toolbox planter. So I'm going to use all wood supplies from the Dollar Tree. This is the little cutting board. I got two of those. They're kind of chunky. And then I'm also going to use three of the little plain wood signs from like the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. And a plunger handle to make a little toolbox planter for some tulips. I love this idea. I really wanted a toolbox and I thought I could probably make that, right? Now, if you can't find uh, the little cutting boards like I found there, they have similar ones at the Target Dollar Spot. They're a little bit bigger and a little bit more expensive. I think you get two for five, where I got two for two dollars because I think I got them before the dollar twenty-five. But I am just taking the labels off of everything. The plunger handles can be a little tricky, but just using my heat gun and scraping all of those off. And I'm gonna save the end of my plunger to just be my paint cup for this project. I never know what to do with those things when I have those left over, but it's such a cheap way to get a dowel for a project. And then I'm going to cut the little hangers off the three little hanging signs. And we're going to be ready to start putting this little toolbox together. Now, um, it's almost the, these little signs are almost the right width. They're a little bit smaller, but that's okay. And I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. I do it by applying hot glue. I use Gorilla hot glue. I find it works pretty good for wood. And this is going to be a pretty lightweight project, so I don't think I need to use any wood glue or anything like that. And just gluing that on flush with the end. Then I'm going to take the other little cutting board. These are so cute. And I'm going to attach that to the other side in the same way. Just trying to figure out which side I want to be on the outside there. And attaching that with hot glue. Now, putting this together was really uh, fairly simple. I was impressed. I really wanted a toolbox. I like it to be a little bit larger than it turned out, but it turned out really sweet, really cute. So I'm just kind of making sure everything is dry and flush. Then I'm going to take the other sign here and put it on the front. I'm not going to worry about the little holes there that the hanger was on there because that's just going to give it, make it look a little bit more rustic and I'm going to rough this up anyway and make it look rustic. So a few extra holes in the project, just going to help. So I'm just going to attach that sign to the sides of the little cutting board. There's a small overhang. Um from it not being completely flush, but I think it's gonna be okay. Mm. And just making sure that as secure and flush as I can get it. And then you guessed it, we're gonna take the other little sign and put that on the back. And we're gonna have the bottom part of our little toolbox complete. This time I just go ahead and apply it to the cutting board. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> and glue that on. And there is like a small crack there at the bottom, but I'm not gonna use dirt or anything. I'm gonna use like fake plants, so it doesn't really matter. But if it did, you could always, you know, try to get that a little bit closer. Okay, now I have to worry about the handle. And I wanna make the handle for our toolbox out of that plunger handle. So, just making sure everything is good before I move on to the next step. And then um, the end of the plunger has like a rounded tip. So I go cut that off with my saw. 
Then I'm going to measure, and this is how I measure, and this I should have used a tape measure because you'll see. Oh my gosh, it just started pouring rain outside. <laughs> Florida problems. Um, and I have to go pick up my son from school as soon as I'm done recording this. Ah, I hope it stops. Okay, that's what happened. I cut it too short. So... I did have to cut off another little disc and I just glued that on the end of my plunger handle and problem solved, right? It'll add more rustic, right? That I screwed it up. <laughs> so just attaching that, making sure it's attached and making sure it's going to fit now. There we go. I'm always in a hurry. When I'm crafting, I never want to take the time to measure, but maybe I should. So just going to attach a little bit of hot glue, but mainly friction is going to hold this in there. And again, this is very lightweight, so I'm not going to worry about putting like a screw in the end or anything like that. I think the hot glue and the tension is going to keep it in place. Making sure it is exactly where it's supposed to be before all the glue is dry. And peeling off any extra glue that kind of peeked out. Then I'm going to go around and clean it up a little bit because we are going to get this guy ready to paint. If you like the natural wood, it's almost all the same colors. You could probably leave it like that. I want to go with like that white beachy coastal wood feel that I like. And there's that plunger. It's great for paint. And I'm going to go in with a brush and just ivory acrylic paint. And I'm going to paint it everywhere that you can see it, like the outside, maybe a little bit of the inside if I think it's going to peek out. And I'm just not really covering all the wood because I'm going to distress it a little bit. And so that'll only add to it. But I'm covering most of the surface with that ivory paint. And just kind of going all over the front and the back. And the handle. And I want it to just be, I, I use this beachy ivory a lot. A lot of my furniture in my house is this color. I think it's really uh, beachy. And my console table that we're decorating today at my front door is like a beachy blue. So I think the ivory is going to look really pretty with that. So just making sure I have everything painted. I do paint like on the inside just a little bit if I think you're going to be able to see it after it has flowers in it. Then I'm gonna go in and start sanding this. The little cutting boards were a little rough, so I'm kind of trying to sand off like the uh, little frayed pieces on the sides and rough it up where a little bit more of the wood shows through. So anytime I can find like a little imperfection or something like that, I'm gonna go after it because I want it to look rustic and just kind of sanding all over until I get it pretty good. I was thinking that I could distress it a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with a little antique wax by Waverly from Walmart and do just that. So I'm gonna use a little chippy brush from the Dollar Tree. I like to go in one direction and kind of really concentrate on the edges and the sides and then follow that up with a baby wipe and wipe off any of the excess antique wax. Don't be scared to distress with this stuff. It's very forgiving. If you don't get the extra wiped off that you um, don't want on there, you can always go back in with your original color and brighten it up a little bit like I just did there. And just keep distressing until you get it right how you like it. And then we are gonna be ready to fill this little new toolbox with flowers. I was thinking tulips would be really perfect for spring. And so I have been on the hunt for some tulips for this DIY. And I think I found the perfect ones. But first we need to fill it with a little bit of foam. I'm gonna use some of this floral foam from the Dollar Tree. And my piece is almost perfect but there is a, it's not quite long enough. So I'm gonna use a few of the smaller um, pieces too and just kind of cut those to size. 
to fill this all the way up with the floral foam. And then we can start putting in our tulips. I couldn't find any tulips at the Dollar Tree, but I did find some tulips at the Target Dollar Spot. But first I wanna go ahead and cover that foam with some reindeer moss because it might be a little harder to get in there after I start putting the tulips in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go all over. I love this stuff. I think it's so much fun to work with. And I'm just kind of laying that all out and filling it in. And here are the tulips. They're so pretty. They're a little bit more expensive than I would normally spend for flowers, but oh my goodness, I love them. They just got these in at my Target dollar spot. They're blue, cream, and pink. You get three tulips for $3. So they're a dollar a piece. And so I got four packages and I use all but one um, tulip. So I wanna line those up front and back of the little handle on the toolbox. So I'm just kind of spacing those out and I'm gonna alternate them like white, blue, pink, white, blue, pink. And they are so pretty and they're the perfect size for the scale of this little toolbox. I absolutely love these flowers. They're so nice and they feel really nice too. Just really, really, really high quality. Now I got the back row done. Now on the front, I decide to, instead of putting them right in front of each other, kind of stagger them. And so I only use five on the front, like where I used six on the back. That way you can see them a little bit better. So I'm just gonna keep going in that same pattern and just stagger those along like I did in the front, but this time only using five. Then I'll have to find a project for my leftover tulip. And they kind of, you can kind of bend them and get them exactly where you want. Gonna fill in any more empty spaces with a little bit more reindeer moss and this DIY is ready to go. I think this might be my favorite project today. It turned out so beautiful and I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> I thought about like putting a word on the front of the toolbox like bloom or something like that, but I kind of like the simplicity of it just being that beachy white. And this is how it looks in my entryway. Isn't it stunning? I love this project. I love it, love it. Okay, next DIY, look at my thrift find. I got one of these little arch window things at the Goodwill store for $2. It's silver and like bumpy and kind of ugly, but I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna go over with a brush and just ivory acrylic paint and I am gonna paint this all over. The bumpy texture like really added to it because that meant that I didn't have to distress it. I could just make sure that I was not getting like full coverage as I go in and paint it. So I painted the top, the bottom, around the edges and all of the middle pieces. And then the most time consuming part was probably just going in um, between all the little squares and trying to distress like the sides in there to get like mostly ivory coverage, but some of that gray showing through. And when you distress with gray, it gives you like a very similar feeling um, as you distress with like the Antique Wax by Waverly. And so that'll be one step I won't have to do for this project. And I'm so happy I found one of these at the thrift store. This is a great thrift find. And for $2, I saved so much money. And I think it's gonna look so cute in my entryway for spring. Then I thought a reef, it needs a reef, right? And I'm gonna use like kind of one of these like uh, fuzzy little reefs from the Target dollar spot and some simple lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I got this reef at Target dollar spot maybe a few months ago. It's kind of the one that kind of looks more like um, lamb's ear, like it's kind of fuzzy. But you can use whatever you've got. If you don't have a reef and you wanna do something kind of similar, 
Um, you could always make one. There's greenery right now at Dollar Tree that you could just kind of put into a circle like that. And it's going to give you kind of a similar effect. I'm just going to hot glue that ribbon to the back of my archway. And uh, that's all there is to this DIY. I think it's so beautiful and I'm so excited that I finally have one of these little like entry of uh, these little archways to decorate. I don't even know what they're called. Are they called a window? Maybe. But this is how it turned out and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. If you were needing to recreate it, you might be able to do it with like some foam board from the Dollar Tree. Okay, the next DIY, I got this shelf today at Target Dollar Spot for $5. It's really nice. It's wood. It's got little pegs sticking out of the front. And I think I have a great idea of what to do with this for our spring entryway DIY today. So I don't really want to leave it that natural wood. I want to paint it the same way that I painted the toolbox. So I'm just going to go in with some light ivory acrylic paint and a brush. And we are going to paint this shelf all over. So the bottom, the front, the top of the shelf, all the little pegs, all the edges. Just get in there. And I'm kind of doing like a sloppy coat like I did with the toolbox because I want a little bit of the wood to show through to give me that distressed feel. And pretty much I'm going to do the same thing I did on the toolbox. So um, I'm going to rough it up a little bit and then I'm going to distress it with some antique wax by Waverly. My plan for this little shelf is I want to use the little pegs on the front to hang like flowers that look like I have them hang, hanging to dry, like dried flowers. When you hang dried flowers, you like hang them upside down until they're dry. And I think that really looks like spring. And so I'm going to try to recreate that with some fake flowers from the Dollar Tree. So I painted it ivory, I roughed it up with sandpaper, and here's that Antique Wax by Waverly. Again, don't be afraid to distress with this stuff. It's so forgiving. And you could always fix any mistakes that you make, but it gives you such a wonderful, like, light distressing. And it's perfect for farmhouse and for coastal farmhouse. Today we're pretty much just farmhouse. Um, I, I do have it on my entryway table that is full of shells and coral on the bottom. So I guess it's both, maybe. <laughs> and just kind of going over any like edges, anywhere where I can pull out a little bit of character. And then I'm also going to do the top of the shelf. Even though it, well, it's kind of high. If you're tall, you can probably see the top of the shelf. <laughs> that way it'll be finished. And again, just working in one direction, working on those edges a little bit in the middle, and then following that up with just a baby wipe. And I really like this shelf. I'll be able to use this a lot. It's, the, it's very lightweight. It's pretty easy to hang. I don't know if I'd put anything really heavy on it, though. Okay, these are the flowers that I thought would look really good for like dried flowers. I went to Dollar Tree and I picked out three that are similar but different. One's purple, one's yellow, and one's like yellow and purple. And so we're just going to remove the tags on those. And then instead of like hanging this with wire or anything like that, I thought it would be really cute to hang it with some of this Dollar Tree twine. But I wanted to look a little bit substantial, so I wind it around there quite a few times to make it look like there's flowers tied together. And then I'm going to cut off the end of the uh, fake plant. The wire in there is pretty tough, so if you cut the plastic and bend it back and forth, you can get that to break off. Then I'm going to use that twine and just kind of make a little loop that I can use to hang it on those little... Um, hooks from our shelf and then tie that off and that one is going to be ready to go. I think this turned out to be my son's favorite project. He really, he really loved this DIY. 
and just cutting off the excess. And we are gonna go in and do the same thing with the other two. I really like the feel of these flowers. They're, the, the greenery is really soft and um, I think it looks really springy. So we're gonna do a loop on this one as well. Just kind of measuring against the other one to kind of make sure I get them all about the same height. And then cutting the plastic off that, bending it back and forth until the wire breaks. And then we have to do it for the third one as well. And if you wanted to do this with a different kind of flower, or even if you had like fresh flowers from your garden and you really were drying flowers, that would be even more beautiful. But alas, I don't. All I have are palm trees. <laughs> And just finishing this last one up and we have our hanging dried flowers. So this is how my shelf looks in my entryway. And here is a preview of how the little dried flowers turned out. Okay, I got this at Target Dollar Spot today. May all your weeds be wildflowers. It's perfect, I don't have to do anything to it. It was $3 at the Target Dollar Spot. And my son loves this and he asked to have it after um, I'm done with it because when he was a child, we, we used to live in the Midwest and he would go outside in the spring and be like, mommy, look, flowers, whenever he saw dandelions. And it was such a great way to look at things and he still has that positive outlook. Okay, our next Target dollar spot find is this adorable birdhouse I found today. They just started putting spring stuff out. This was $5. The colors are perfect, the blue and the white. I am not gonna hang it, so I just take um, the chain off because I wasn't really feeling the chain. The little hoop at the top though is glued in. You can't do much with that. And it has a little um, stick that sticks out for the bird. And all we're gonna do is put some Spanish moss in there to make it look like a bird's nest inside. And all these DIYs are gonna be so easy to convert to Easter and back to spring because I can just put like a little, um, some little tiny eggs in here or something like that and maybe throw like an Easter bunny in the display and we'll have Easter. And so this will last me all spring. So I love this birdhouse, it's so pretty. The only thing I wanted to replace that wire hanger with just some um, twine. This is that twine from Walmart. It's a little bit thicker and just make a new little hanger. It's gonna make it look a little bit more a farmhouse than that metal um, chain and just kind of like have it just kind of sit over to the side like that and clean it up with a little bit of a flame. And this just turned out so sweet. We're just gonna sit this on the table and let me show you how it looks in my entryway. It's so cute. The color could not be more perfect. It matches my table perfectly. Okay, the next DIY, I'm gonna use one of these wood crates I got on clearance at the Target Dollar Spot after Christmas. And I think I got it for like a dollar fifty maybe. And I wanna make like a wall succulent garden. Now, if you can't find this, they have the smaller one um, at the Dollar Tree. You could do kind of a smaller version or you could take the little boxes or the little trays from Dollar Tree and just glue them together, kind of like this pattern or any pattern that you want and do the same thing. So I am gonna go through and try to fill up all the squares with just some foam. I always have way too much of this foam from the Dollar Tree, but today I used all of it. So <laughs> my pieces are really kind of inconsistent and I'm gonna have to kind of move stuff around just to make sure that I have enough, but you're not gonna be able to see them. So that's gonna be fine. As long as I have something to put my succulents in, I think that's gonna work. So it's gonna be hanging on my wall. So I'm gonna glue all of my little foam pieces to my little boxes. And I'm just gonna leave this, that natural wood. I think that's gonna go with um, a couple of my projects today that I'm gonna leave natural. 
and we're gonna glue all those down and we are gonna fill this up with succulents. I've always wanted to do a project like this and I have so many like old succulents from the Dollar Tree that I've used for years and years and years and years and years. And I had those all stashed together with a few that I bought that I never have used yet. And I'm gonna try to make sure I have enough to fill this all up. I didn't really plan this project, but I love how it turned out. So I'm just gonna take a little sawtooth hanger and put that on the back before I get any farther because you know this wasn't meant to be like a hanging wall piece. And um, so we can hang this on the wall in my entryway. So I'm just gonna kind of make sure, I'm measuring this time, look at your girl measuring, and I'm gonna just nail that in. I love these sawtooth, sawtooth hangers with like the nails already in there. Ugh, so much easier. Until we have a little hanger for our succulent garden. And these blue picks are from the Dollar Tree. They're all from the Dollar Tree. And, but they're really tall, so you kind of have to cut the stem off of these so they don't stick out too far. They're also kind of like a brighter blue, and so I'm gonna kind of stagger those first throughout the project um, so they're not too much color like in one spot. And I think I end up having like maybe two to three succulents for each spot. And I'm just going around and sticking them in. Like some of these, that green one, I've probably had that as long as I've lived in Florida, which is like eight years. Oh my gosh, have we really been here eight years? Crazy. And I am just putting those all around. Some of them have stems, some don't. I'm kind of just working with what I've got. And um, if they don't have a stem, I just attach them to the foam with some hot glue. This one I actually glued a stem on that I'd cut off one of the blue ones because I kind of felt like it needed a stem just with some hot glue. And we are just gonna piece this together until we have pretty good coverage of all of our little boxes. And I had just enough succulents. So it's a good thing I have my stash organized because I had all these succulents in the same bin and it was easy to pull from. But you can always get these at the Dollar Tree. They have them all the time. And look how pretty they look. I love how this turned out. So once I get them all in there, all I have to do is go in with some of that reindeer moss and cover up all the foam. I do use a little hot glue wherever I think that the Spanish moss um, has something to glue to or that it might fall out. Otherwise, if I'm just kind of shoving it in there, I think it's gonna stay put. Because again, I'm gonna be hanging this on the wall. And I really love how this project turned out. I'm not gonna worry about the fact that it says Christmas trees on it, because I did that part along the top and I have it hanging on the wall where you're not gonna be able to see that. I also have one of these boxes that I bought on clearance in red that I haven't found an idea for yet, but maybe for 4th of July or something like that. And this was a great way to get rid of all of my partial bags of reindeer moss. Who knew I had so many partial bags of reindeer moss? But some of them required more moss than others because I had all different sizes of foam and stuff like that. And I want all of my boxes to look really green and really full. And this is how it looks in my entryway. Isn't it beautiful? A little wall succulent garden. I love it. I think it's very springy. And we have one more DIY for you today. This is gonna be a sign. I got this just wood sign. It's just a wood board with a rope on it. Nothing special for 99 cents at the thrift store. And I wanna make a little hello sign for the entryway with one of those wood hellos from the Dollar Tree. Now this is already painted white and nothing on it and it's kind of strange, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint that ivory with that acrylic paint. So that was really easy to cover the white with the ivory. And we're gonna basically paint this the same that we painted the toolbox and the little shelf with all the dried flowers. 
we're just gonna go in and uh, distress it with some antique wax by Waverly. And then I'm gonna use that little hello for the front of it. I thought about making it say spring or something like that, but it is in my entryway, so I love using the hello signs. And I had one, so I thought that would be fine. And technically, it's not spring yet, but we've got spring on the mind, right? And we're just gonna attach that to the front of the new ivory sign with some hot glue. And you can use whatever sign you've got. And look at that, we have a little hello sign for the entryway, so easy. And I'm gonna kinda just hang this one on the very top, kinda staggering it in there. It's so simple, but I love those wood words from the Dollar Tree. This is a little topiary that I picked up maybe a few months ago at the Target Dollar Spot. It's in a, like a brown paper bag pot. I think that's gonna be perfect for one of the shelves. Then this is a little like boxwood plant from Target. The, the, they have these little plants at Target for $5, not at the Target Dollar Spot, back in their like uh, regular home decor section, but they're so inexpensive and they're really nice. Now the pot is like white, white. So to kind of disguise that without really having to paint it, I'm just gonna wrap some of this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree around the pot. It's gonna kind of give me that feel that I want without really having to paint it. That way I can always take this off and use this again for another project. I have these, they have like the grass one, they have several different ones. But for $5, they're really high quality um, little plants. So just trying to make sure I get that on there tight. It was a little bit, you know, smaller along the bottom. So I just kind of pull it again and glue it down. And that's all there is to this plant. It's ready to go. And then I picked up this little tiny plant wrapped in burlap from the Dollar Tree. And I just cleaning it up a little bit. I think this is going to be another fun touch for our spring DIY, trying to find all the little kind of green small plants I can find that's gonna look good in our display. And I got this one at the Target Dollar Spot too, maybe in the fall or summer, I can't remember, but it's just a little blue fern one and I think that's gonna look good too. This is how the little topiary that I got at the Dollar Spot turned out. And here are the other plants in our little spring display. Okay guys, are you ready for the final reveal to see how my new spring entryway turned out? Here we go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and comment below your favorite project. Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing so long the weekends Stayed in bed till Wednesday
Sit down.